Welcome to our series of tutorials on Logic 2, a brand new application to debug your hardware using your Salia Logic Analyzer. In the previous video, linked below, we talked about triggers and showed an example when using it to record spy data. In this video, we'll begin where we left off and learn how to decode the spy data we previously recorded. Our Logic 2 application comes equipped with several protocol analyzers to decode data according to a particular protocol. You can check these out by navigating to the Analyzers panel and clicking the plus button. Here you'll see a list of several analyzers that our software currently supports. In case a certain protocol is not found on this list, we offer the ability to create custom analyzers using our protocol analyzer SDK. I've provided a link to the SDK below as well as a list of user-created protocol analyzers. Please note that at the time of publishing this video, custom analyzers are not yet supported by Logic2. We're currently working on adding support for this, so we're excited to share that with you once it's ready. For this tutorial, we'll capture and decode SPY data. Let's click SPY to configure a SPY analyzer. We'll configure it as follows. Enables connected to channel 0. Clock is connected to channel 1. MOSI is connected to channel 2. For MISO, we'll leave this blank as we don't have a SPY slave device connected. As for the rest of the settings, we'll leave them to their default values as they properly indicate how our SPY data is transmitted. Note that you may need to change these settings to reflect your own SPY data structure. We'd also like to show our decoded SPY data in a results table here. And we'll stream the data to our built-in terminal. Both of these options allow for different ways of viewing your decoded data. Once these are all set, let's click Save and begin our capture. Note that your saved settings will also be used automatically next time you add a SPY analyzer. Now let's click Start. We've programmed the Arduino to send out SPY data every second, and you'll notice that it gets decoded in real time by the table on the right. Once the capture is complete, there are a few ways you can view your decoded data from within the application. First, you can zoom in and navigate your data to view your decoded protocol results. For our SPY analyzer, the decoded results can be viewed above the MOSI waveform on channel 2. For protocols that contain a clock, such as in SPY, you'll notice arrows indicating where the sampling of data takes place for decoding. In our case, the MOSI data line is sampled on every rising edge of the clock. We set this earlier in our SPY analyzer settings. You can also view your decoded protocols in table view in the analyzers panel to the right. Finally, you can view your data from within our built-in terminal view. For protocols with slower data rates, this can be especially useful to read incoming data in real time. Now let's go over some useful features that will enhance your experience with protocol analyzers. To change your display radix, right-click on a decoded data result in the waveform. Hovering over the data result, reveals a keyboard shortcut to scroll your results table to that specific data. You can also search for a decoded result in the results table, and then navigate to that instance of the data in the waveform by clicking on the right arrow. Double click to zoom in. Finally, you can export your decoded data by clicking on the three dots to the right of your analyzer and then clicking export to text slash CSV. This wraps up our tutorial on protocol analyzers. In the next video, we plan on discussing more useful features on Logic2. As always, if you have any specific questions or feedback, visit our Logic2 forum in the link here.